everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kayleigh Allen and welcome to this week's video. This week's video is a slightly awaited, shall we say, easy philodendron video. And today we have climbers. I've had to improvise a little bit here, I will not lie, because I don't have decent specimens of all the plants on this list, to be honest. So I've, I've cut one and I've got propagations of another. This is just mainly because some of these plants, obviously they're easy, but they don't necessarily have value. So I'm not actively growing them in the shop but I've done my best. Oh, very quickly before we do, merch. My merch is in the link below. This is Long Boys merch. It's absolutely awesome. It has all these Long Boys here and I don't know if you can see, but on the bottom it actually lists what they are. Super cool. I did also add prints and stuff like that onto my Teespring, so if you want to see if there's anything extra, you can go look there. Somebody asked me for some long sleeve things. I think they're on there too. So if you want to have a look, feel free. Link is in the description. Similarly, if you're in the UK. Here's my feed on Amazon. Go get it. It's great. I honestly, I know you guys are absolutely loving it. I'm loving it. I've had to stop feeding things because they're getting out of control, guys. Like they're growing towards me. If I just left that, it would probably be stood next to me in a few weeks. Do you know what I'm saying? But it's all fed with this. Love it, love it, love it. Thank you so much for your support. And link in the description. Right then. No particular order. These are my top five philodendron crawlers. They're all pretty much in my top five for the, the, you know, the same reason, but we'll talk about them as we go. So let me get the first one. The first wonderful crawler on my list is this guy. Now give me one moment because this plant actually represents two or three, okay? So I'm here using, I'm holding up a philodendron Florida beauty. It's, it's, it's really nice, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, that is hot. However, this is actually representing either philodendron pedatum, shall we say, Florida green version, whatever you want. It's representing philodendron Florida ghost, or it's representing basically philodendron Florida beauty. Because it's all kind of the same, okay? I think if you don't want to deal with reversion, whatever, don't go for something variegated. You know, exercise your own judgment there. If you like the white frostedness, you go for the ghost or whatever. If you like green, then go for the pedatum, or I think you just call it Florida, whatever, okay? It doesn't really matter. My point is, they're all all kind of the same. They all go kind of the same way. You can't really go wrong. It's down to personal preference. However, these guys are great. These don't propagate the easiest, specifically Florida Beauty. Okay, so cancel out Florida Beauty from what I'm about to say. But in terms of like ghost and other plants, they propagate very, very well. The only thing I'd say with Florida Beauty is, and I've said this for years, just make sure you've got good aerial roots before you cut, you know, a, a, you know, a chunk off or whatever. And you should be fine. If you don't have any roots, you might have a problem there. But if you do, I honestly, I've, I don't really get losses. As long as I have aerial roots, I'm absolutely fine. But they do propagate okay, given that. But they size up really really nicely and they just look really pretty. I like these as well and I say this a lot because no matter what stage of growth they're in, like for example look at this little baby leaf that's been around for a little while right there, that's a really old leaf and it's very juvenile but they always look good no matter what stage they're in. So obviously here these are a little bit more mature, they never tend to look exactly the same which is quite sweet, like this one's really cool and feathery but no matter what stage they're at they will always look kind of cute. There's an all green one there if that's your vibe but they always look good no matter what and I think that's really really nice I think that's quite important because not all plants look good when they're juvenile or some just look good juvenile some just look good mature this one personally for me has always just been through and through it always looks great always looks great they climb so well they size up so well so any one of these this variety of ghost Florida beauty whatever you have is very easy this is the harder of the three for sure but it's still reasonably easy so if you've got one of these I I don't think you can go wrong. Plus, how pretty, how pretty. I think these still remain very, very pretty for people. Let me know in the comments if you're over it. But I think a lot of people still like these. I think they still do quite well. Now, my next plant is somewhat similar. My reasoning is very much similar. The only thing that makes this plant difficult is if it was variegated, okay? Then it becomes more difficult. I'm going to hold up a plant that is sort of variegated, but I'm not using it to mean the variegated version. I'll just hold up the plant. So I'm talking about this plant here. This is Philodendron Golden Dragon. In this case, this is variegated. But as you can see, not the best time I'm having with it. 
That's not the point. My point is the regular Philodendron Golden Dragon, or as well, a little extra bonus for you, the Philodendron Lime Fiddle, which I did used to have. I think it's long dead now, probably long dead. But both of those plants are very good climbers as well. They're very, very meaty, very hardy. The, you know, the ratios of like the petiole to the leaf are very good. They're not super long boys, but they do look quite nice. They've still got something to them. And I just find them really, really, really easy. Put it this way, guys. My living wall, okay? I'm sort of letting it die off apart from a few key plants. So the plants in the bottom of the wall, they're alive. The two monsteras on either side are alive. There is only one other plant that has held on and is still alive on that wall, and that is Philodendron Golden Dragon. If that doesn't say anything, I don't know what does. They are so, 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 so tough. And again, just to circle back around to it super quickly, if you add variegation in, it doesn't make the plant less tough, but you're going to get these problems. It's very unstable a plant it's not my favorite but i'm not using this to talk about the variegated version so but if you want to try and grow a filled and golden dragon this is the one for you just for for hell's sake i will show you the size of the leaf that i just cut off before this video because it was sticking out and it was very much annoying me it was this guy just so you can actually see how big this boy was. That is no joke, okay? I have 20 inches of hair extensions in my head, right? Those of you that caught it, it's not grown overnight, do you know what I mean? Well, definitely it has, I suppose, if you want to be weird about it. 20 inch hair extensions, and that's the size of the leaf. That's pretty much the same shit. So it's... It's very, very good at sizing up. Oh my God, this petiole. Can I just show you this petiole really quickly? How nice is this? Ooh, look at that. That's really pretty. So yeah, big, big boys. If you want something impressive, this is your boy. Climbs really well, sizes up really well. Can't go wrong, love it. And I like it as well because it is it is a little bit more on the ornamental side, a bit like the Florida Beauty. So very, very nice. Can't go wrong with either. Right, I think it's quite obvious that we'll probably air towards the heart shapes now of philodendron that are climbing because they're always my favorite. So again, I've had to take a shortcut here because I don't typically grow this plant anymore. I do upstairs, but I can't move him. He is huge. And this was sort of sort of growing off a shelf. So I've cut him just for this video. This here is not the best example, admittedly, of Philodendron Glorious, which is a hybrid of Philodendron Gloriosum and Philodendron Melnochrysum. Now then, this is a terrible example because this plant is known for sizing up. You need to trust me, so fast and so big. If you think you see growers on Instagram, right, that are growing philodendron and you want to have that big Australian growth where it's like starts with little leaves and they get absolutely huge and it's really dense and whatever have you. This is the plant you need to go for because this sizes up without having to hitch itself into the moss pole, if that makes sense. Some plants kind of need to do it in order to take off. This is not one of them. This is absolutely fantastic for it. It propagates like an absolute dream. Like I know after this video, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop it into nodes, stick it in a glass. It'll be fine. It'll, literally, I'm not going to lose a single one. It'll be perfect. So they're so, 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 so good. And I wish I had a better example to show you. Obviously, I'll stick a picture in or whatever like here of what they really can look like because they're stunning, stunning, stunning plants. This is not the best example but they're just so tough they stay really dark as well and quite dramatic when they get bigger i can't describe it but they get some really pretty light ears on the leaves it's just a lovely lovely plant to have they are without a doubt one of the easiest climbers i've ever had to deal with and they're definitely one of the most striking as well in terms of like the world of heart shapes in terms of darker plants because this is darker than a filter and glorious for sure because obviously this is darker because of the melanochrysum sort of element. So without a doubt, this, so, so good, so, so easy. And this is kind of sized up and this has been growing sort of downwards and it's still found a way to size up, even though it's literally growing in midair. So that should tell you how good these are. And believe me when I say this is the most pathetic specimen I ever could have held up, but I love them. I absolutely love them. My other top, top favorite, best, easiest, philodendron climber has to be this guy this guy my god he's borderline indestructible right so these are actually cuttings in a beaker that i took a long time ago i know i've held them up they frequently run out of water and dry out and i keep going oops a few days later and just putting water back in hoping they don't rot and they haven't i've got a couple of le um, leaves of roots that don't look probably the best 
but they're absolutely fine. So this here is Philodendron Splendid, also known as, well, it is known as, I should say, a hybrid of Philodendron Vericosum and Philodendron Melanochrysum. It's very, very thin, beautifully velvet. It has the Vericosum-ish, ish, remember it's a hybrid, the back, of these is quite blush toned. It's very, very pretty. Now, the weird thing about this plant is, this plant always surprises me because you see it and you think, ooh, these leaves are paper thin. Unlike the Glorious that I just held up, they're much thicker, right? They take a little bit more after Melanochrysum than what these do. These are definitely more on the varicosum side because they're very, very thin. And you would think, guys, you would think they would be so brittle. But let me tell you, if anybody has ever had them shipped into them from, not from me, like literally from, from Thailand, Island or anywhere, you will notice that they come in and they look quite plump. And if anything happens and they go south, you just stick them in water and they will plump up so fast. They will look incredible. They tend not to really suffer too much shipping damage either. They're absolutely amazing. I actually don't know where you can get these. I'm sure they're just still sold. I don't think for a single second that they're not accessible. Same as the Glorious, by the way. I don't think anything I've showed you in this video is not accessible. Maybe the, the variegated version of the Golden Dragon, if you know what I mean, but Golden Golden Dragon should be accessible. They all should be quite accessible, but this is so easy. I wish I still had my big tall plant. That's a lie, I actually do. I have, I have my both my big tall plants. I'll have a photo that I will put in here of when they were small and cute and they were next to each other. So for reference, this is actually a really good photo to use because on one side, can't remember which, maybe the left, can't remember, is the Splendid, and on the other side is the Glorious, and it's cool to see them together because you could have either one and then be really tough. Personally, I think the Glorious is a little bit more tough just because these can still get spider mighty because they're very thin, but generally speaking, you can't go wrong with either of them. You can't go wrong with any of the plants on this list. I challenge you to go wrong with them because I don't think you can. And again, taking variegation out of it because that's not the point. I've obviously used some variegated examples, like for example, the Florida Beauty. You just can't go wrong. How pretty. And you can just, literally, you can just make a little brush of them. Who cares? Especially when they get like lower value as well. You can kind of do what you want with them. Like these just look cute. Like you could put these on the table and just have them in like a cute little vase and just have them like that. How cute is that? Look at them. Oh, they look so good. So, so good. And they are still quite dark again taking after the melanochrysum. Although very coarsome, depending on which one you get, can be quite dark. It can be quite dark, but it's obviously come from the melano. But oh, what a plant, guys. What a plant. So that was my top five easy climbing philodendron. Do you agree with what I have on this list? Is there anything that you would put on your list? Because actually, while we're on our way on the outro, I wanted to mention that I really felt like putting Pareso Verde in this list, philodendron Pareso Verde. However, I didn't because I honestly think it's quite a disappointing plant. I've mentioned this before in my top 10 times that plants disappointed us. So you can watch that if you like in the description, I will leave a link. But I think because the variegation can go literally overnight in spectacular fashion and it's not fun for people, I didn't want to put it in there. But I absolutely respect that they're easy to grow in terms of not killing them, propagating them, everything else. I completely get that. I just don't disappoint people anymore. I feel like Pareso Verde just needs to take a seat a little bit. So do you agree with the things I've picked? What would you put on my list if you could? If you'd like me to do another one of these, I absolutely can in the future and I'll take maybe some of your suggestions and make a bit of a compilation. That's absolutely fine. But in the meantime, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. It lets me know that I'm making videos that you like to watch, which really helps. And if you are not already subscribed, I will absolutely adore it if you could do so. My merch is in the description. My plant feed is also in the description and the video I mentioned before is also in the description. That's it for this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye, guys.